Welcome everyone to the presentation on the Student Inquirer Identity during the Master's Thesis in an Online University. I am Angelos Constantinidis, PhD grant holder at the Open University of Catalonia, and my supervisor and co-author of this study is Professor Tony Badia. In this presentation, I will firstly introduce you to the context of the problem. Then, I will present the study aims. Next, I will discuss the construction of the student inquirer identity model and questionnaire. Following that, I will provide information regarding the participants in the questionnaire. I will then focus on the results of the study. And finally, I will summarize our conclusions. You might be wondering, why should we pay attention to the student inquirer identity? As you already know, the last decade we have witnessed many tech-related trends that both increased the saturation of technologies in our daily life and raised several concerns as regards their use and, most significantly, their misuse. While more than half of the population owns a smartphone and has internet access even in the developing world, a growing number of people are becoming ambivalent about the impact of digital connectivity on a society as a whole. Thus, it is becoming more crucial that professionals, upon graduating from the university, must have the skills, attitudes and stances that will enable them to address the challenges of the digital world. Undoubtedly, there is no magic therapy that alleviates the problems of digitization. Yet, developing an inquirer identity to students and teachers has been recognized as fundamental for the society and school of the future. Nevertheless, Although inquiry as a concept and practice in education is nearly one century old, dating back to the work of John Dewey, there is lack of a clear and empirically grounded definition of inquiry-based attitude, while the research on inquiry identity is scarce, to say at least. More research on the inquiry identity would benefit the design and development of professional development courses aiming at nurturing and promoting inquiry attitudes and competencies. This study is part of a larger research project entitled The Inquiry Identity of Teachers and Student Teachers and has three principal aims. Firstly, it aims to contribute to the research towards the development of a well-structured definition of the notion of inquiry identity applied to both students and teachers. Secondly, it aims to identify and characterize the identity components related to inquiry when students are involved in pedagogical innovations, as well as to categorize clusters of teachers which show different ways of positioning in light of pedagogical innovations. Thirdly, the current study focuses on one component of the student inquiry identity, the skills the students develop while doing their master thesis and elaborates a model and a questionnaire for assessing this component. The structure of the student inquirer model is based on the teacher inquirer model, which we published last year. The teacher inquirer identity consists of 10 teacher skills, which are related with the five phases of the inquiry process. Scan and focus, understand and explore, plan and implement, evaluate and reflect, and write and present. In order to adapt the teacher inquirer identity model to the ways students conduct inquiry during their master thesis, we reviewed bibliography related to researching in social sciences, and we realized that the five phases of the inquiry process emerge from the topics of each book, even if not in the same order necessarily. Therefore, we decided to maintain the five main phases and make only some changes. The resulting model is presented in the table. Therefore, the inquiry process starts with a phase titled search and focus, where students are searching for potential topics to develop their thesis, and then they are focusing on a particular topic. The second phase is understand and explore. 
students are building knowledge and understanding on the topic and exploring what other people know about the topic. The third phase is titled Design and Implement. Students are designing and implementing a research project. The fourth phase is Interpret, Evaluate and Reflect. Students are interpreting the results and evaluating the research project, as well as reflecting on the process and outcomes. The last phase of the inquiry process is titled Write and Present. Students are writing the thesis and they are presenting it to the committee. Based on the model, we constructed a questionnaire that intends to measure the inquiry skills that students develop while they are conducting their master thesis. The questionnaire was constructed and refined through three stages. Initially, the first author crafted several question items for each one of the sub-identities related to the process of inquiry. Next, the second author reviewed the question items and added a few question items as well. Lastly, the final list of items was reviewed by both authors and any ambiguous item was discussed and subsequently rewritten or deleted. The final questionnaire is comprised of 10 subscales, with 42 Likert type items in total. Each subscale corresponds to a specific skill of the student inquiry identity. The response scale ranges from 1 to 5. The questionnaire was sent to students of three education-related postgraduate programs who attended the master thesis project at the Open University of Catalonia during academic years 2019-2020. In total, 154 students responded to the questionnaire, a response rate of 12.4%. Approximately 4 out of 10 of the respondents are aged between 21 and 30 years old, and another 4 out of 10 between 31 and 40. Nearly half were working in formal education as primary or secondary school teachers, nursery and kindergarten teachers, special education teachers and secondary school teachers. The vast majority have working experience and or they are currently working, while on average Respondents have nearly 10 years of working experience. Over 4 out of 10 reported advanced or higher English language level and another 4 out of 10 intermediate. As regards their experience in doing work related to a master thesis, more than 6 out of 10 had completed a graduate or undergraduate thesis while less than one-fifth of the respondents reported having no previous experience in doing activities similar to those requested in a thesis. Lastly, as regards the type of the thesis, half of the respondents conducted empirical research or intervention research and more than four out of ten conducted an educational intervention related to their profession. This table provides a synopsis of the results. In the first column, the inquiry phase is shown. The second column gives an example of related question items. Lastly, the third column shows the mean and standard deviation calculated for each skill. Therefore, students reported the development of searching skills to a moderate extent. The mean calculated value for this skill was 4.16. They seem a bit more inclined to search for potential topics through browsing related websites and the literature rather than asking the opinion of others or making a list of their interests. As regards focusing, students reported that they develop related skills to a moderate extent as well. The mean calculated value for this skill was 4.07. Respondents are almost equally inclined to develop skills related with identifying the purpose of their thesis, formulating relevant research questions, reducing the list of topics, and evaluating the viability of the thesis on the chosen topic. Students reported that they develop skills related with building knowledge and understanding of the topic at hand to a moderate extent. The mean calculated value for this skill was 4.17. 
Students reported that they engaged with skills related with reading the literature, conducting an organized search to find key literature on the topic, recording and organizing the information related to the topic, and evaluating the literature found for quality and relevance. Students reported that they developed skills related with exploration about the topic to some extent. The mean calculated value for this skill was 2.99. To a considerably greater extent, they are asking more knowledgeable others about the topic and they are discussing their topics with their colleagues. Conversely, they are engaged to a lesser extent with attending learning events about the topic or posting questions about the topic on the internet. Students reported that they developed skills related with the designing of their master thesis to a moderate extent. The mean calculated value for this skill was 4. Writing the theoretical part of the thesis was a skill that students developed more, followed by the consideration of the ethical issues. Students reported that they developed skills during the implementation of their thesis to a moderate extent as well. The mean calculated value for this skill was 3.97. Students reported that they developed skills related with the interpretation of the results and evaluation of the outcomes to a moderate extent. The mean calculated value for this skill was 4.17. Students reported that they developed skills related with reflection to a moderate extent. The mean calculated value for this skill was 3.97. The responses reveal that students are a bit more inclined to reflect on the adequacy of the research methodology and the relevance of the results to a lesser extent and to reflect on the implementation of the project. Students reported that they developed skills related to writing their thesis to a moderate extent. The mean calculated value for this skill was 4.22. Overall, students' engagement with writing skills is well above moderate. However, when it comes to sending the final document to others for feedback, then respondents indicated that they developed this skill only to some extent. Finally, Students reported that they developed skills related to presenting their thesis to a moderate extent. The mean calculated value for this skill was 4.32. This study, built on the teacher inquirer identity model to construct a model for the student identity as an inquirer. The model presents the student inquirer identity as a dynamic multiplicity of 10 skills related to the five phases of the practice of inquiry. The results of the questionnaire corroborate to a considerable extent the validity of our model. Based on the student inquiry identity model, we constructed a quantitative questionnaire that seeks to measure the development of students' inquiry skills while they are conducting their master thesis. Admittedly, the questionnaire adopts a quite narrow perspective in identifying the inquiry skills, both due to its nature, that is quantitative, but also because in our efforts to present a short and as simple as possible questionnaire, we included only issues related with the process of inquiry during the master thesis. As a result, the questionnaire in its current form largely ignores the inquiry context as well as students' personal characteristics. These limitations should be taken into account for the interpretation of the results. The results of the questionnaire have shown that when students develop their master thesis as part of their studies in an education-related field in an online university, they develop inquiry skills. More specifically, they develop searching, focusing, understanding, designing, implementing, interpreting and evaluating, reflecting, writing and presenting skills to a moderate extent, while exploring skills to some extent. Whereas it is difficult, based only on this uh, data, to uh, explain the small differences observed among the calculated means, it seems that students develop and work more on some skills than others. Whether this is a necessity, personal choice, or whether there are other underlying reasons needs to be further investigated through quantitative studies. What's more important, however, is that the proposed student inquiry identity model which identifies five phases of inquiry, is affirmed to a considerable extent by the results of the questionnaire.
Thank you very much for watching my presentation.